Alrighty, new version for this. Let's watch this in full. There's no sound. We got lots of fires. Quack, 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 quack. And then... Ah! That in the end. It's very cool. I like it. Right off the bat, I'm going to mention two things just because they were mentioned in the comments and I do want to make sure that I uh, acknowledge that people comment on the shots and stuff. So one of the things was that Actually, it's a longer note, but the first one someone was mentioning, as a male, you it's very tricky to jump and uh, spread your legs, knowing that something's going to hit you between the legs. I would agree that is very, very painful. Um, but I like that you have an extended leg and then the slipping. I think what, what could be done is something where, even silhouette-wise, what is this leg doing here? It's a late one. Okay, maybe you could do something where we actually have that leg for the back and then this one sooner into a stretched something where we feel like it's not I'm not going to spread my legs to get this in between but we're going to push that moment where that leg again might be dragging a lot more that's a massive foot here so you have a bit more of my scribbles here <laughs> that and then because of that that slip will then bring that leg over there and again this could be you might have to bring that root over maybe a little bit so it's not hugging this around so it's still somewhat in a late position there if that makes sense and then boom by the time you hear that leg can end up there and then you can end up maybe and we'll even help you with the silhouette a bit to bring that leg over a bit in front of that chair for something a bit more like that and then you bring that leg up and then down into what you have here. I hope that makes sense. But I think that was a very valid point. And since I'm already here, watch out. That ro that root jump is still a bit funky. There are a couple things here. I'm getting ahead of myself. But watch out. This is a little bit off balance here. I would lean him forward a bit more if that root is this far back. Because right now you're, you're almost in a chair sitting position. So the only thing that will get his root forward is a massive swing through his arms but the arms are delayed like at this point those arms would be here to really propel that forward i think the easier solution is to not go as far with the root then if you look at let me pick it here actually pick a different color so it stands out if i'm gonna track that root do something like here just to see if i'm crazy or not Let's see what i'm seeing here i know it's a bit of a guess it's going to track somehow, trying to find that. So now if we go, you can see the spacing that the spacing gets very small here. So it's very big, small, and also a bit flat in its arc. So it feels like you want to go just a bit higher on that arc. I know it's tricky. And maybe one of the things you can do, well, like, you know, if that makes it too far, if you actually get trajectory where he would have to land, just don't go as high flatten that it's almost like your angry birds when you have a projectile and you can see how that <laughs> arc follows just don't go as high just go lower into that so you can play also with that spacing a bit i mean yes you want to shoot out slower and then accelerate because of the drop but right now this is just a tad to slow you down and to flatten that i hope that makes sense and uh the other note was and i think I don't know if you already thought about that, and I can't remember if I mentioned that before, but uh, it feels like after this here, like starting here, there's a good level of, um, I guess I would say intensity and panic. Also, by the way, love this. Love that. He wants to get there, but can't because there's a fire. That's great. I think the main idea, the main comment was that he feels a bit too... Okay, it's Wednesday, huh? All right, it's time to jump. Okay, let's go. Versus fire, fire, fire. One of the easy fixes would be just to do a lot more frantic head moves. So he could be, you know, there's a fire right there. I mean, one thing you can do is lean him a bit over. Make sure that those eyes look here. Then he looks over there, looks back. Then, oh, that, but with this move, a bit more of a, a faster leg move bit of a stop like a hesitant little uh, uh, put it down maybe some more active arms whoa and then when you get up here 
Again, you might have a look here, look over there, like, okay, I'm safe. Like, look here, what's over there? Like, a lot of frantic looks. This is a nice reaction there. Whoa! And then, whoa! That's cool. That's cool there. Like, see, like, stuff like that. This is where I think it really works. Watch your head there. Huh? Huh? Oh, 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 let's go, let's go. Oh, let's go. Oh, that type of stuff I think is great. If you would incorporate that a bit more to the beginning, I think that's a very valid comment. This one could be a bit more energetic and energetic in terms of arms. Like that. This feels a bit, a bit locked there. I see a movement here, obviously, but I think you could be. I think you're fine on this moving that arm. A creating more separation there. So moving that arm out a bit more. So that on that jump, it's a bit of a faster swing forward. And on this, maybe potentially you can see that forearm and then that bigger arm up here. And that one a bit higher. So that when you come down here, it's a bit of a faster swing. Just giving this a bit more energy. Feels like how slowly and smoothly those arms are through here. <clears throat> um, just takes away from the energy and the tension and the panic. But... It's nice and smooth and arky versus here. I see the fixes. It's still a bit sharp sometimes in, in how this arm moves. I think another pass would be good. Even like if you look at that, that upper arm goes back, 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 bam. And then here locks. And then it's just the lower arm going up. So you want to keep going with this. It's probably also because that that upper body fa boom stops suddenly there. So it's just a bit of an overall cleanup in terms of your arcs and spacing and uh, stuff like that. I'm looking around here. And watch out, it feels like they're sliding. Let me see. No, a bit right there. There's something slightly funky in. There's a probably reacting to this here where toes are here. And then on that jump, I will bring them lower. And if that's here, toes would be down here straighter just really making sure that the push off doesn't feel like legs are here or the feet and then back there into this that's a picky thing but you're getting pretty far along so i'm gonna start giving you a bit more picky things and by picky things i mean like even like movements like here beep, beep. feels a bit harsh and that's that stop there the arms stop a bit abruptly there's that chair that kind of moves a bit of abruptly your like your finger poses are the same so from here and then you move over and stop, but nothing really has changed. So some of those details could be neat. Silhouette-wise, I would bring that foot out there a bit. And maybe that leg, if you can, you might have to cheat out that armrest over this way. If you get something like this, this feels almost a bit, especially the foot and that shin part, a bit too straight down. It gives a bit of a, a sharper change. Even in this, this feels really like one piece. So kind of pushing. Maybe you have to do a little bit of a leg movement to kind of push that. You know, like the foot might be like this. And then on that change, an adjustment in the leg. Whatever you want to do, but something to avoid silhouettes like these. And then the same question as before. I mean, it's, it's not, again, not that it's wrong. Do you want to break the fourth wall? Do you want to suddenly look at the screen? Um, could just be, or coming out only this far. One, ha one eye looking over with some head darts. Like, oh man, what's going on? That's the only thing I'm wondering about. Do we want to do this? And it's obviously 100% your call. Just gonna throw it out there. Um, I think that's kind of that. It's really coming along. I like what you're doing there. It's not easy, especially stuff like that on moving objects, especially here. It's hard to do. So you might even say I'm getting into picky things here. The amount of weight and the energy and the drop here as that chair comes down. I think, and I know he kind of lets go in terms of there's no weight on this maybe that's what you're doing here but it feels like bam that chair will be in a lower position a bit longer even if it's just two or three frames comes up and then here as he gets on it come back down a bit more if you just watch that chair in terms of the up and down it just feels a bit light i'm really talking just a couple of frames but since we are in the polishing phase And then tracking wise, if I'm looking at what, if you look at the head and the chest here, let's pretend this has all the nice arcs that we're gonna, that we want in the spacing. If you look at this coming down shape wise, it's here. Let's go crazy here and do some uh, skinning here. 
here. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about here. You got that sudden direction change. Then it goes into a circle, which is fine. Now with Arden's getting that gets a bit off, but I'm reacting to let's go crazy here. Red! It didn't change it. Red! There you go. <laughs> that head, just visually, does this sudden move like that. Shabong! But if you look at the amount of energy, whoa, even if he misses, there's so much that goes this way. And especially since this foot is kind of slipping. If you look at that root, boom, it would just be there. And that chest would still be there. And the head would still be there. And maybe still be there. And then maybe catch up into here, down into this, if that makes sense. Alrighty. That's kind of that. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whenever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.